In this video, I will show you how to calculate a rank in Excel using a very simple Excel formula. Using this method, you will be able to compare a data set and determine the position of an individual data within the data set. For example, you when you have a list of scores, you will be able to find out the rank of each individual student with the, the highest score being ranked the number one and also in scenarios where you have a list of timings for a race you will be able to calculate the rank of each athlete with the lowest time to be ranked as number one using the same formula so let us go ahead and look at how we can use this rank formula now in order to find out the rank formula here first i will do it at the descending rank where the highest student score will get the rank of number one the first rank so i will say go ahead and say equal to rank and when i type rank you will see that there are two options that is rank dot eq and rank as you can see that this rank is an older function and it works again for it is left for compatibility with excel 2007 and earlier so if you're using excel 2000 uh, version which is after 2007 you can very well go ahead and use the rank.eq which is the same as this this one here i will go ahead and use rank.eq so as soon as i click that you can see the parameters that are there which is the the first is the number which is the number that you want to compare against the data set so here i will click on the cell reference then comma then i can give the reference or the reference is the data set or array of which against i want to compare this range this number or score with so here my reference is these scores here now in order to because i would be dragging this formula down i would want to fix the cell references for this array here so i will go ahead and highlight this part and press f4 now doing that adds the dollar signs and we will see it in a moment why that is useful now the third optional parameter is zero for descending and one for ascending here we want it to be in the descending order so we can put zero or we can omit it if want to the default value is zero so here i will omit the optional parameter of order and i will just close the bracket and hit enter now as you can see it has already calculated the score here the score is the fifth in the rank now because i have fixed the cell reference for the array i can simply drag and it will give me the ranks for all the scores as you can see 92 is at the top here one thing to note here is that in case of tied scores it will give you a tied uh, rank it does not give you a distinct rank it does not do a tiebreaker or doesn't do a distinct rank that is a separate formula and it is a little more complicated than what we have here for example, just to give you an example, if I change this to 84, you will see that you have two people with the rank of three and there is no rank four. Okay, going back. So now let us shift our attention to the, this one. So we wanted to do here an ascending rank with the same formula where our target is that this one, the, uh, the lowest one will be ranked first. So again, we will go here say equal to rank dot eq and i will click on the cell reference for the number comma then i will highlight or select the array for or the data set that i want the rank to be calculated for then highlight this press f4 to fix the range here once that is done i will then say comma and here i want to give the optional parameter as one so here it would do it as ascending rank then hit enter now as you can see as soon as i drag this it will give me the ranks in the ascending rank which the lowest time at the top so this is how you can use the rank formula in excel 
to find the ranks of individual data against a data set. Hope this video was useful to you and have a wonderful day.